G'day. So here we are down at North Lakes. Beautiful. Look, we're out here on this par four here. What is the sixth hole? Yeah, about the sixth. So we're just going to take a little bit of time out. We're going to put these two drivers up against each other. So this is my current driver, the Wilson Dryden. Um, been using that for what a fair while now. Yeah, you've been using it for a decent amount of time. Yep. So new driver. Thank you very much from uh, Golf Zero. Golf Zero. So. We're going to put them up against each other. Wilson Triton versus the yep. Amilde Bahara. Bahara. Yep. Beautiful looking club. So basically like. the specs of the uh, Triton is the, um, the carbon bottom with the weight in the back. Yeah, so it's basically set up to neutral. It's neutral. Yep. Um, loft I think is neutral. Shaft yep. is the uh, Rogue, standard Rogue. Yep. Uh, in Stiffly. stiff, 60 grams. And then you've got the Amilde Bahara which has got a, which is a AD TP6 yep. SR for stiff reg in the I think 11 ish degree head. Yes, I think that was. Let's go back through the video, but anyways, 11.1 yep. or something like that. But um, look, both really good drivers. Yep. We'll uh, give them a whirl. I'm going to start with the uh, Wilson. Hitting some See seed golf goes. balls. Yep, we've got some seed golf balls here. So we're here, um, we're just pumping it down there, yep. and we'll see what happens. With a couple of each, and uh, see how we go. Talk about the numbers later. So that was mishit. That was mishit. But that's all right. Like, keep keep hitting some more balls. Yep. I just want to hit a few of each and sort of see what sort of. Yeah, take your time as well. So we're kind of getting an idea of ball speed, spins, dispersion. Well, you've nutted that. Right. So that's probably. Uh, yeah. As good as I could probably hit. Yep. The try. Yep. Perfect. All right, so what number balls were they? They were number ones. Yep, these are number... Number fours. All right, so grab so grab your other one. Emil Bahara. Oh, <laughs> did you break one? <laughs> so stay tuned for the uh, seed golf ball reviews, the uh, Country Mile and the Pro, because they are a very solid golf ball. Um... Very good golf ball. Yeah, yeah, for the price especially, that's the biggest yep. thing. All right, so here's the big chief. We might need a few more shots to get a good one, but I can categorically say that that one was rock solid. So the two basically are the same. Yep, so the first two are very, very similar. Again, take your time, but they certainly sound different. Oh, this one is a lot softer. So it still wasn't hit that great, but that's still moving forward. Yeah. All right. Come on, let's hit some more. We'll hit as many. Well, we've got to hit as many as we can to to get a comparative strike. Because you remember, this is new. Yeah. Yeah. This is. And you've only hit it, well, this is the most amount you've hit it. You can probably tee it up a little higher, Rich, just because the face is a lot deeper. A lot deeper than the other uh, one? Correct. Alright, so that's pulled. Now, I'd love to see some numbers on that because... Even though that's towards the scrub? Yes. Let's, let's go one more. That was a lot better strike. Yeah, that. like that was very solid. Everyone's going to be stealing the seed golf balls. We're seeding the seed balls. Now that is crushed. That's a good one. Mate. All right, so we've got two almost equivalent shots, I reckon. Yeah, that one then's come out off the middle. Look, it's going to take me a little while just to get used to it and line the face up. It's the look. Because it's got a different look on the... Correct. Because it's very plain, this one. Very. I don't actually mind it, but I have had... Yeah, that huge line-up. Yeah. On that thing. Yeah, so very, very different. Yep. I feel this wants to go a lot lower. I have to work on getting it up in the air. In the air, I feel it that I just need to 
we'll let the ball go through. All right, so, well, let's, we'll walk up there. We've got some numbers here. We'll yep. walk up there. We'll find the two best ones that we've hit. Yep. We'll see what they are. So the number fours were the last ones. Four and two. Beautiful. Beautiful. Richo so, Relaxo. Look, we've noted a couple of good ones, as yep. you can see. One here. One, one here, there. one there. Do you want to check the numbers? Yep. Um, so you were using ones for yours and twos for the other ones, or fours and twos for the other ones? Number one. One? Which, which means that be must be number two or four. Two, I think. Yep. Number two. Two. All right. So that so is. This is the first couple of bit, bit ordering, but as you saw, you know, when I got onto them, hit them both fairly well. Um, All right. So basically, right now, I'm going to put up on the screen your shot tracer. Well, you've already seen it, but I'm not going to put the numbers up for the two best ones that you would have seen before. So yep. the numbers now, as you're going to see, pop up are 96 uh, 98.6 mile an hour clubhead speed ball speed of 147 smash factor of 151 spin of three grand and launch of 8.6 which is a carry distance of uh 214 i think it was yep and total distance of 247 214 carry yep yep now that ball over there which is the um can you pronounce that name richard Emilda Bahama. Good. You are the Aussie Samurai. Right? Yep. <laughs> All right. So, so what's coming up on the screen now is Richard Shot Tracer for the uh, Emil Bahama, the best one he hit. Uh, clubhead speed of 101.8, 153 ball speed, smash factor of 151, launch of 10.5, spin at 29, carry of 223, total of 251. Yep. There's a lot of numbers there. Now, yeah, the, the two the, that we were yep. interested in Correct. was the launch angle. Correct, which was 8.6, yep. I think, on the other one, and then 10.5 yep. yep. on so this one. a bit more, and the carry. Yeah, correct. Carry was 10 metres longer. Yeah. Yep. Um, spin was a little bit more, so 2.5 spin was the uh, yep. was yours. Yep. Now, you have to remember that I've only... Correct. So, I would have hit this a thousand times. Yeah. You, you agree? Can't, yeah, yeah. I have hit this, what... Maybe seven. Half a well, you've hit today. five balls or six balls now. Yeah, the, and then this is the two first or three time we've hit it, had it on the course. Like I said, I'd be very keen to get out to the driving range and just get used to the whole look of it and the feel of it. Um, I'm I'm happy with that extra carry. That's what I always felt with the, the Triton was that it wants to stay low. So on a nice hard course, it's good yeah. because you do get that roll out. Well, yeah, so you a 27.6 rollout um, for the Emil Bahara compared to 33. Yeah, yeah, so and that's what I always felt with the, the Triton was that it wants to go low, it, it does move forward. It's still a better driver than I've ever had before. Well, um, let's talk about some other numbers which are different. So, and yep. I understand from swing to swing it's different. Um, but say 99 mile an hour clubhead speed was yours. Yep. Compared to 101 with the other one. So there's yes. two mile an hour there. That's from swing to swing, so we can't really take that into account. Yep. Um, smash factor is 1.51 with yours, uh, 1.51 with the Emil Bahara, 1.5 with yours, so negligible. Yep. Um, but in regards to ball speed, yours was, let's say, 148 uh, ball speed compared to 153. Yes. And that's what we did notice when we were doing the fit at goal yep. zero was, yep. you know, four to six mile an hour ball speed for oh. negligible clubhead speed. So we've been down here today, um, like I said, for a driver that I haven't hit too many times, I've hit two really good shots. Bombs, yeah. Yeah, so I feel that as I get used to this, I think it's going to be really good. I like the little bit higher ball flight that I'm yeah. getting out of it. I think that's that's a lot better. I've always felt this was a bit low. But every time we went up in loft on that and mucked around with it, it spun a lot more. It, it did, and that's why it was set at this, yep. rather than trying to make the loft higher. Um, that's probably got a little bit to do with the shaft and stuff. Look, do you know what? S still a great drive. Yeah, of course. All right, still, Wilson still make great gear. Um, but that's going I, in the bag. I think this is going to be very enjoyable for me. I love the, It does have a softer feel than the Wilson yeah. off the face. The Wilson does totally sound harder it is a different noise uh this is a bit more like the, the mizuno that we hit yep. um i think that when i get used to this watch out mac oh mate old jimmy he'll be uh you put him past kieran actually oh that'd yeah, be good that'll be a good uh, but um 
I think I'm going to get a lot of enjoyment out of that. I think in some uh, good shots, you can see by, look at that. Yeah, look, could, they're, they're, these are both a, negligible discs. They're, they're yeah. both great drives. They're both basically yep, the same distance. Yep. But like I said, I think it's, it's the same thing. Went out, got the numbers, got what you were happy with. I realised the first few times that you hit it, you're probably still going to yeah, have accurate. that that feeling. But like I said, you got to remember I've had this for quite a while. Um, I think the longer this stays in the bag and the more I play with it, the more I get used to the whole weight of it and the feel of it. I feel the shaft is a lot closer to, to suiting me. But, you know, shoot Watanabe. Go down and see him down at uh, Golf Zero. Mate, he, he's very intelligent man, knows what he's talking about, and if he can't help you, well... Take up long balls. Take up long balls. <laughs> <laughs> that but, was me that said that, not Richard. <laughs> but no, nah, thank you very much. But yep. yeah, definitely get down there, look. He, he's Stay tuned very, for the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. very knowledgeable man. Yep. Um, we'll, as I get used to this, we'll do another little video further down and show that, you know, see how I'm going, see if I'm getting a bit more consistency out of it. But so far, look, I really like it. I, I hit two shots that were just mint today. Like I said, the numbers we cared about was higher launch, Yep. more ball yep. speed, Yep. and as long as spin could stay, you know, below the three grands, then we're happy. Yep, yep, but that's what we're after. Beautiful, and that's what we got. Yep, lovely. Let's rip in.